Hello everybody, it's Susie from Keep It Cornwall and welcome back to another vlog. Oh my god, it's Sunday the 22nd of June 2019 and what a day it's been. We're going on holiday basically and we booked it this morning. So all day today, um, me and my hubby have been like getting ready to go, doing little things, going to get Euros. Very excited. I'm not going to tell you where we're going yet um, or the story. So I'll wait till we are in the car. It's currently like one o'clock in the morning. He's sleeping. So I'm going to go and wake him up in a minute. Um, but yeah, so we're going on holiday. So it's really exciting. Um, I thought I would just show you a couple of little bits that I think are like a necessity for a holiday. So let me show you my case. So our case is all packed and the first thing that I um, have, it's, it's kind of like a new thing really, I've never used these before, but they are called packing cubes. Oh my god, they are absolutely amazing. They fit so much in and they just keep your clothes really, really nice and neat. So like I've got a couple, he's got a couple, so it kind of keeps it all in order. Um, if you haven't used packing cubes before, I will link them below in the description box for you. I bought them on Amazon. They're just really good. Um, another thing which I just absolutely adore are this set of bags from Boots. Now it comes like with a big one and then it comes um, with a couple of other little ones as well that are like stored inside. I think they were about £10 but they are a godsend. This is like the third holiday that I've used these bags on and just look how much it can hold. It's got like all of our tanning creams in there. Um, it's got hairspray, deodorant, all my liquids. If anything was to spill on the plane, then it's kind of like all enclosed into that case, so I absolutely love them. Um, another little packing cube there as well, and our flip-flops, hair dryer, and my um, hand luggage. Um, I bought myself today this um, like neck pillow. Um, I've never used a neck pillow before, um, but I just really fancied one to be honest, so I bought one of those. Um, I've got kind of like my big Louis. Inside I've got um, a little scarf because I take a scarf on holiday. I've got spare flip-flops because I know that when I get there it's going to be boiling hot. Um, a little evening bag that I take. Um, boarding passes and then my jacket. So that is what I've packed so far. Um, when we go on holiday, my husband Simon always says to me, um, because I'm a fitness instructor for my job, he, I've got to talk quietly because I don't want him to know what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, basically, because I'm a fitness instructor for my job, the whole point of going on holiday is to like rest my body and not do any exercise, but I just cannot handle it. So he was like, you're not taking your trainers with you. You need to rest, da 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 da, -da. So I've come up with a plan. So he's not going to know that I've taken my workout stuff with me um, because I know that I'll get to like Wednesday um, and I'll just be dying to do something, like a little run or go in the gym for an hour. Um, yes, it's my job, I understand that I need to rest, but I just love the way that exercise makes me feel, really. It's kind of, I don't know, it's like a drug, I suppose. Um, so anyway, my little plan is this. Now, ordinarily, I would like not dress up to go to the airport, but like I'd wear jeans or something. But I thought, right, if I wear leggings, like, my nice workout leggings and um, like a vest top and my trainers and like um, like a, a jacket, then basically that's my workout gear that I'm taking and he won't even know. I've got my trainers, I've got my, um, what, what's this, like a little Adidas top, I've got my leggings, I've got my sports bra and then I've got my vest top underneath that. So basically I can take my workout gear with me and he will not know and then he can't ban me from taking any workout gear or any trainers in the suitcase because that's my aeroplane outfit. So that's my little plan basically. Um, anyway, I need to go and wake him up because we need to get going in a minute. Sofa. Oh, 
Simon. Simon. Hmm. We need to go, babe. You need to get up. Hmm. It's five past one. Hmm. Got 25 minutes. Come on. Up you get. I'll put the light on. Come on then. And then once we're in the car, you can tell the vlog where we're going on holiday. You excited? You excited? Come on, get up. It's a couple of hours later and we've left home. Um, driven to, or we're driving to Bristol Airport, which is about two and a half hours from where we live. Um, so we've come to a service station called Exeter on the way. I'm so sorry about this lighting. I don't know if it's any good or not. Um, Mr. Simon is awake and raring to go, aren't you, babe? Come and say hello to the vlog. Come on. Here hello, he is. Vlog. He's, oh, you're very tall, so I have to go quite high with this. That's better. Um, so, <laughs> he's awake. Oh my God, I've just realized we haven't even told the vlog where we're going on holiday. So, do you want to reveal to our 160 subscribers, come, come further so it focuses on you, um, where we are going on holiday after three? One, two, three. Oh, you tease. <laughs> um, Simon, we've got to tell them where we're going, honestly. So come here and tell them. You can say. I don't want to say it. Why don't you want to say it? I don't know. I just don't like it. Saying it. Simon, say it. Come on. Come and tell the vlog. Where are we going? We are going to... Benidorm. We're going to Benidorm, guys. So ordinarily, as you know, we go to Tenerife. We love Tenerife, but the weather out there, and obviously the last vlog that I vlogged, you would have seen the weather out there was horrendous. If you haven't watched that vlog, I'll link it below, cheeky plug. Um, so yeah, we, well, I'm gonna tell you the story as to what happened. Basically, um, we were due to go to Tenerife today, which, um, well, yesterday, which was Saturday, and the weather's horrendous, so we didn't go to Tenerife, and we were like umming and ahhing all week about what to do, so luckily we hadn't bought anything, so we hadn't sort of paid for any flights or any hotel, we could cancel the hotel free of charge, which is what we did, and we were like umming and ahhing, we were gonna go to Ibiza, um, but it was so expensive to go to Ibiza and the weather wasn't looking that great. Um, then we found a deal like two days ago to go to Turkey, but both of us were a bit like, mm, not really quite sure whether or not we want to go there. And then someone suggested Benidorm and I was a bit like, oh, okay, let's have a little look at that. So anyway, cut a long story short, we're going to Benidorm and we booked it, as you know, this morning. Um, really good price to go there. Uh, we like sun and it's really sunny. Um, and I think there's like a lot to do as well. We're not quite sure of like the stigma of Benidorm because loads of people say, oh my God, it's like really bad. Um, but we'll go. And great thing is, we're gonna take you with us. And we're all gonna go to Benidorm. Whoop, whoop. We should be at the airport in about an hour. Simon's getting a coffee. Everyone's looking at me because I'm filming myself. But you gotta get over it when you vlog. That is just what happens. I might get a little snack because I haven't eaten very much. Just because I had loads to do. You know what it's like, running around. And I've done a bit of work before I've come away for Keep Fit Cornwall. So that means that when I'm away, like I'm not worrying about it. I think I'm up to date with it all. I've texted everybody to let them know that there's no fitness classes next week. And they're all lovely and super supportive. So if any of you are watching, I'm gonna miss you loads, as you know, but gotta be done. I'm a wife. I've gotta fulfill my duties because it's mine and Simon's wedding anniversary on Monday. Um, and he wanted to go away, so that's what I'm doing. So we'll catch you when we get to the airport, and randomly we're actually meeting Simon's sister there, 
and her husband and his parents and his brother um, because they're flying out to Portugal like half an hour before our flight goes so we're gonna try and catch them there grab a little bit of something to eat and I'll try and get them on the vlog <laughs> here they are here they are you're on the vlog Dave you're on the vlog whoop, whoop. Right. and this is Karen Simon's sister and they are flying off to, where are you going Karen? We're going to uh, near Villamora. Near Villamora in Portugal. Portugal yeah. So they are off to Portugal, but we're literally we've caught them at the last minute because they are going to their boarding gate now. Looking nice and rough after an early start. And what time did you get up? Uh, two o'clock. Three. <laughs> I haven't had any sleep yet. You're looking good on it. You're looking good. We're all right. We're all right. See you later. Bye. <laughs>
Oh yeah, it was 20 euros for both of us, but I, I think a taxi is like 60 euros, isn't it? 60 or 70. Yeah, 60 or 70 euros. So for 10 euros, you can get yourself a bus. Let's see how long this takes. I think it's 45 minutes, she said, wasn't it? Hopefully it's not a magical mystery to me. No, but she said it was 45 minutes and this bus didn't have many stops. So it's all good so far. But I'm a bit worried because everything has gone very, very smoothly so far. So what can go wrong? <laughs> We're a bit worried about the hotel, but we'll deal with that when we get there. We're on a roll. We're on a roll, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Also, if you're wondering how to get back, so to kind of get back from your hotel, back to the airport when your flight goes, they give you this little shuttle transfer ticket um, and then they give you a phone number that you call 24 hours later, so we need to ring this number tomorrow morning and then they will pick us up as well on the way back because our flight's at a really weird time, it's at like six o'clock in the morning or something so they work all the way through the night so this is um the company that we're doing it through is abbas we have arrived at our hotel and i think it's gonna be okay there's loads of hotels that are like in a really built up area but this seems all right oh my god look at this Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Oh guys, I think we might have hit the jackpot. Look at it. Oh my God. Okay, this is it. What number are we? 11.29. This is the pool area. Oh, this is always the most nervous bit for holiday, I think. Oh, here we go. I'm really nervous. You go in first, tell me if I'm gonna like it. Am I gonna like it? Um. <laughs> Honestly, I get so nervous when we go to new hotel rooms. Oh, I don't know why. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. It's a little bit small. But... Yeah, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Is it modern? Yeah. Okay. Looks like our house. It's white and grey. <laughs> oh. Oh, it does look nice. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, it is small, but I don't think it's that small, is it? What more do you want? They got a massive mirror. Oh my god. They got that thing that you put your suitcase on. Yeah, a fridge. A little desk. I should have bought my laptop. Little TV. Oh, well, you're going to be happy. There's a coffee machine. Little table, chair. It's white and grey. And. Oh god, it's going to make me. No. Oh god. It's. What do you mean, quite high up? It's very high up. Can you take the camera and uh, pan over onto the pool, please, and don't drop my camera? Thank you. So pan down. And then I'll look at the footage and then I haven't got the phone for it. Is it nice? Yeah, it looks right. My legs are like jelly. It is really nice here. All the rooms have been recently refurbished. So, what more could you ask for? Um, we pay, how much did we pay for it? Because people will want to know how much we paid for it. What, what, how much was it? Was it like 508, I think it was 508 English pounds, wasn't it? For the, um, for the room, and that's for bed and breakfast. And you can have evening meal if you want for six euros per person which is great i think benedorm is like a really it's quite a cheap place isn't it like to eat out and things so that's what we paid for it obviously i gave you a little room tour when we came in but let me quickly show you again so this is the um front door then you have a bathroom um sink hair dryer i wasn't sure if they'd have a hair dryer so i did bring one massive mirror 
toilet, shower, towels. Oh, very nice shower. Oh, it's like a wet room. There you go. Nice shower there. Then you come out into this little corridor and you've got a massive mirror. Um, so this is what I wore today, which I think I um, told you about earlier anyway on the vlog. So I've got my Nike trainers on. Everyone asks me where these are from when I wear them. They're Stefan Janowski, but I don't think um, they do this anymore. Um, but I just love them, absolutely love them. I wear them all the time. Got some leggings on. I've got my Adidas um, top on that I bought the other day from Sports Direct. And then I just wore like a plain black tee underneath. Um, yeah, then you come through into the bedroom. You've got a sliding wardrobe here with a safe, always good. Telephone, couple of bedside lamps, nice bedding, a little mini fridge. Simon's looking at all the uh, things on there, the restaurant and everything. Um, TV, tea and coffee facilities, but I don't know if there is any tea and coffee, is there? Or milk, maybe. No, there's nothing in the fridge, so you have to go and get that from the supermarket. Um, and then that's it. And then you've got your outside space. So we're going to probably go and try and find some water, do you reckon? Yeah. Or get changed into like our pool stuff. Um, just try and find some water from somewhere and then go down by the pool. Oh, did I tell you guys what it was called? It's called... Rio Park. Which one is it, Simon? I'll link it in the description box below anyway. Um, and we also booked it through booking.com. I will do a separate video on like how to book a holiday. Um, because if you book things separately, it is a lot cheaper. Um, but I'll talk about all the websites and things that I use anyway to book a holiday. So, there you go. It is half past eight at night and we have been out um, on the sunbed this afternoon at the hotel and we've ventured down to the beach. Now so far, Benidorm is not what people, I don't know, like not what the stigma is like at the minute. Um, it's gorgeous. This is the beach. What's this beach called Simon, do you know? Con. Uh. Vasta, I think. La Vasta, which is, I think, like one of the main be beaches, isn't it? Yeah, there's two. This is what it's like so far, everybody. So it's not too busy. It's really nice. Everyone's friendly. All the staff in the hotel are really nice. Um, so this is what it is. We're really chuffed with it, aren't we? Um, we're just walking along now to see if we can go and get something to eat. Um, there's two towns, I think, in Benetton, the old town and the new town, isn't it? And everyone keeps telling us to go to the old town. So we're just kind of like trying to find our bearings really this evening. Um, so yeah, looks like our little gamble has paid off, which is exciting. I'm not sure what we fancy to eat tonight. Are you like pasta, pizza, steak, something like that maybe? Simon's just doing a little bit of um, photography or finding where we're gonna eat. What? Photography or finding where we're going to eat? Yeah, no, photos. Photos, he's doing a few photos. So I'll keep you updated. I'm going to do like a little hotel tour um, vlog at some point um, to show you what our hotel is like. So if you're thinking of coming to Benidorm, then hopefully that will help you. I'm really hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. And I need a drink. Find me a cocktail. <laughs> Sorry, could you turn it down a bit? I'm trying to eat my ice cream. Oh my god. I think we've hit the party town now. Yeah. Oh my god. Really party going all over here, oh my god, there's like no it's not foam, it's smoke, isn't no, it? Smoke machine, the smoke, smoke machine, machine coming out. It does seem that there's two parts to this um I don't know, like Benador. But we're wow. staying in the quiet bit. <laughs> But there is a loud bit. Look at this. Street again. Here we go. I think there's definitely two places to Benidorm and it's getting much 
much more busier now as we're walking down but like I say we will give you the lowdown on what we find so if you ever decide to come here hopefully we can give you a lot of information so we've decided to come and eat at this pizza restaurant called so it's called Spasso looks nice I'll let you know how we get on okay so here is our food I've gone for spaghetti bolognese um, it comes with these little bread bally things and what have you got Simon um, tortellini. is it nice and it's so reasonably priced here as well it's lush and we got some cheeky little uh, fries on the side <laughs> lovely oh and I got a Cosmo Okay, so after dinner we have just gone for a little walk and we think we have found Old Town. It's just full of like little tapas bars. It's absolutely gorgeous. All this like architecture, ice cream bars, places you can have a drink. But it's nice. Definitely not the stigma, like I said earlier, that people say. There is nice parts to Benidorm, definitely. of the old town that we have just shown you um so we're going to walk back to our hotel now which isn't in old town or new town it's like on the outskirts but we are going to try and find new town which is the party town just to show you for the vlog what it's like because i don't think we've even got there yet I definitely think you can avoid it if you wanted to or if you didn't want to then it's the perfect place to go um, to party. Do you want to go there Simon for a night out? Um, I take that as a no. He's lost it. See this is what he does when I'm trying to vlog. He like loses his... He loses it. He absolutely loses it. <laughs> when we get back to the hotel and then we're gonna go to bed because we are absolutely knackered I reckon we've had like 
three hours sleep. <laughs> what do you think, Simon, of your experience of Benidorm so far? I'm pleasantly surprised. Just to clarify, we think from what we know that there's an old town and new town. Yeah. When we said to people that we were coming to Benidorm, and obviously it was a very, very last minute holiday, they were like, oh God, good luck with that. Like, you want to stick with Old Town, stick with Old Town, because New Town is like Party Central. And it is, but I don't think it's as bad as what people say. I've seen a lot worse than that in like Corfu and... Mm. We are really happy with this. Um, with this holiday so far. Obviously, we haven't even been here 24 hours yet, but the hotel's lovely. The pool is really nice. There's plenty of sunbeds. You know, you can kind of like go near the kids' area or you can go into the adults' area. There's a pool bar which sells everything that you need because this hotel doesn't do lunch, does it? It doesn't do lunch between, is it between a certain time of the year? Mm. But there is an adequate pool bar and it is gorgeous in there, isn't it? It's really modern. Um, you can get anything in there. So like ice creams, ice lollies, they don't rip you off. They do everything in there and it's so cheap out here. Like the meal we had this evening, the Italian meal was, so we had, what did we have from there? I had spaghetti bolognese, you had the pasta thing. We had an alcoholic drink each. I had a cocktail, you had a beer. Um, and we had a side of chips and they gave you bread, didn't they? Like breaded dough things. And it was 33 euros, which is probably like 30 quid. And when we normally go to Tenerife, because as you know, we love Tenerife, it's like 60 euros or 70 euros, isn't it? Well, depends how many cocktails you have. <laughs> Okay, but I don't drink that many, like two or three max. Five. No, that's at home. I never drink that on holiday. I don't. I never ever drink. Don't listen to him. I don't drink that on holiday. I don't. Yes. I don't. I definitely don't. Okay. People will know that anyway because they see me on Instagram and know that I wouldn't have done that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me over on Instagram. Keep it cool, more. Um, anyway, so that's the end of the vlog today. Thank you so much for watching, as normal. Um, I'm not sure how well I've done with all the clips and everything like that. Obviously, I am new to this vlogging game. I've only been doing it a few months. Um, so I'm just trying to be a bit more creative. What? So don't forget to hit like to this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified of all the videos that we upload. Um, I am going to do a little hotel tour. So it's a goodbye from me. Bye. And a goodbye from him.